Introducing the all-new Cool Jars A10 Hot Shot 1500. Our top-of-the-line lightning fast cart filling system capable of filling 12,000 cartridges in an 8-hour day with next to zero waste and absolute minimal cleanout required. For the next minute or so, we're going to give you a very quick look at this remarkable new system to include its speed, precision, and flexibility. You probably have questions and may wish to see more, so we'll follow with a detailed step-by-step -step guide to the installation and operation of our new A10 Hotshot systems. For openers, you're looking at the number one reason you need our Hotshot 1500. Speed. At the rate you're now watching, you can fill this entire tray of 50 carts in a few ticks under two minutes without removing them from vendor supplied foam blocks. We'll show you how in the demo. For now, let's do the math. 50 carts in two minutes. 1,500 carts an hour. 12,000 filled cartridges in a single eight hour day from a single A10 hotshot system. Reason two, control and precision. Fill any volume cart from 0.33 grams to one full gram with total volume control in 0.01 gram increments. 0.01. Reason three, flexibility. Use our Hotshot 1500 to fill any oil viscosity. Use it to swap out batches mid-run. Use it to quickly and precisely fill almost any style vape cart, pin, or syringe. Speed, precision, flexibility your 100% cart filling solution. Our new A10 Hotshot systems are available in two models and both are detailed at hotshot.cooljars.com. Check them out right now. However, there's a lot to know about the new A10 and you probably have some questions. So here's an in-depth, up close, very detailed look at how to put our new Hotshot to work. Let's start with system setup. This is the Super Speed A10 Hot Shot 1500, the fastest of the two models Cool Jars offers. It weighs around 15 pounds and takes up about two square feet of table space. Just make sure it's on a stable, level surface. To start, find the 16 ounce bottle of blue heat transfer fluid and pour the entire contents into the blue reservoir. Now slide the ANOVA stainless steel immersion heating element into the reservoir, twisting slightly to make sure it's fully seated. Positioned correctly, you'll see three dimples level with the top of the reservoir. Next, mount our black non-stick oil tank onto the A10. To ensure proper connection, align this white cam with the slot in the A10, press down firmly until seated, then turn clockwise to lock in place. Here's something that will interest you. Our oil tanks feature self-sealing, one-way check valves so you can swap out tanks and batches mid-run. To remove the tank, turn counterclockwise to unlock, then pull straight up. Model 1500 comes with two oil tanks, and you can order additional tanks as an option. More about swapping tanks later. Next, install an A10 oil injection needle. Our component kit contains needles of varying sizes, which gives you options to fit the style of carts you're filling. We suggest you select the shortest length you can to lessen pressure on internal piston assembly. Hand thread the needle into port and use the blue plastic thumb socket in the kit to tighten, being careful not to over tighten. Now install your selected fill switch. In our high performance model 1500, two options are available. Our new button activated speed tray plus our foot activated fill pedal. Both options plug into the USB port on the left front side of the A10. We'll use our new speed tray for purposes of this demonstration. Next, connect power source. Plug the round male end of power transformer into the rear of the A10 control box. Now plug the transformer and the ANOVA heating element into a switched power surge strip that's rated for at least 10 amps. That's it for system setup. Let's talk about operation. First, activate the A10 system by powering up the surge strip. 
Now power up the ANOVA heating element by pressing the red button on front of the display panel. The button will display white when activated. Quick note, press and hold this button for a few seconds to switch readings from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Press and hold again to switch back. Select whichever scale you prefer. Now pour desired amount of batch oil into the non-stick tank. It will hold any amount up to 1,000 grams per tank. Cover with lid. Next, adjust system operating temperature using the thumb wheel on front of the ANOVA display. Roll up to increase, roll down to decrease. You can adjust the ANOVA in half degree increments. An initial setup, adjust heat setting to 170 degrees Fahrenheit to fully heat the A10 system and set the onboard heat switch. This is important. When the A10 system is fully heated, actual oil temperature will be anywhere from 20 to 30 degrees lower than the ANOVA setting, depending on viscosity of oil. Use a heat gun to determine the actual oil temperature, then adjust the ANOVA as necessary to reach your desired oil temperature. Once the A10 system is activated, the main touchscreen will light up. The screen will not show operational controls until the system and oil are fully heated. If attempts are made to operate system prior to heating, this waiting for heater message will be displayed. When operational controls appear on the touchscreen, the A10 is ready for use. Use the touchscreen for all inputs. First, select viscosity from one of three options available on the Model 1500. Olive oil, glycerin, and honey. Select the option that best describes the estimated viscosity of your batch at fill temperature. Now select shot size from one of three options. 0.33 grams, 0.5 grams, and 1 gram. A custom setting is also available. Volumes are adjustable in 0.01 gram increments. Next, select speed using the up and down arrows on the five bar graph. Each bar represents a 20% increase or decrease in fill speed. Finally, select end count to input the number of fills you wish to perform. Once desired fill count is reached, the A10 will stop flow of oil. To reset, press hold to reset for a few seconds to zero out the reading. With these few settings in place, you're ready to go. Following initial setup, first prime or purge A10 system by holding a container under needle and pressing fill switch several times until oil is dispensed. Return priming oil to main tank so you don't waste it. Next, test cartridge fill volume. Using a very precise scale, weigh the container you're using to prime the system, inject a shot, then weigh container again. The difference will be the shot volume. Repeat as necessary adjusting volume on touch screen to achieve desired amount. Adjustments can be made in 0.01 gram increments. As an alternative volume testing procedure, weigh an empty cart before and after filling and make any necessary adjustments. Once made, these volumes will remain consistent throughout the batch. Now let's fill some carts. The A10 model 1500 features a new high volume speed tray with a button activated fill switch. It is really, really fast. To use it, cut a typical vendor supplied 100 cart foam block in half and place a 50 cart block in speed tray. This lets you fill carts directly in the block instead of removing and filling one by one. Now position needle in corner cart, inject pre-measured fill using onboard switch, and move on to the next cart. You'll be absolutely amazed at the speed you can achieve with our new A10 Hotshot with Speed Tray. Once comfortable with the process, you can typically fill this tray of 50 carts in something under 2 minutes. Even at 2 minutes per tray, that's 1,500 carts an hour, and that's 12,000 carts a day. If you prefer to use our foot activated fill switch, there's no need to cut a 100 cart foam block unless you prefer to fill smaller quantities so you can cap them quicker. Simply position the foam block under injection arm, insert needle in the corner cart, depress foot pedal to inject each shot, and move on. When you fill 50 carts on one side, reverse block and fill remaining carts. It could not possibly 
be quicker and easier. Incidentally, flow rates will depend on a number of factors, including viscosity of oil, heat of oil, size of carts, etc. You can fine-tune your fills by adjusting viscosity, speed, and shot size settings to achieve optimum flow rate. Finally, we'd like to show you a few quick procedures that will keep your oil processing operation running smoothly. First, a quick needle change demo. Use the blue plastic thumb socket in the kit. Unscrew the needle and return the kit. Insert new needle, tighten lightly with tool, and you're good to go. Next, a tank change. If you're changing in the middle of a batch run, the tank will be warm, so make sure you're wearing gloves. Turn tank counterclockwise to unlock and pull straight up. A check valve will stop the flow of oil, though you may have a few residual drops to wipe up. Now insert a fresh tank. It can be empty, full, or partially full. Twist to lock and you're ready to rock. Takes maybe 30 seconds. Since we're talking about the tank, if you wish to do a total clean out and would like to replace O-ring in the valve, first remove tank as previously described and empty. Remove valve with 3 quarter inch socket. Using 6 in 1 tool in the kit without the bit, push up spring loaded valve to reveal O-ring. Remove O-ring with a single edge razor blade. Replace with spare O-ring in the kit. Reinstall valve with socket and you're done. Additional O-rings are available on our website. If you're having problems achieving a consistent shot size, it may be a partial blockage of the upper or lower valve due to oil residue. Here's how to replace both. For the upper valve, remove tank as previously demonstrated and use supplied socket drive to remove valve. Model 1500 comes with replacement valves, so look for one in the kit. Screw into place, tighten lightly with socket drive, replace tank, reprime system as described previously, and continue filling procedures. Finally, here's how to replace a lower valve. Remove tank as previously demonstrated. Using Phillips screw bit on the 6-in-1 tool in your kit, unscrew the 90-degree bulkhead on front of the injection arm. Next, use the hex wrench to loosen the two screws on either side of the arm and slide injection arm straight out. Using the 6-in-1 tool without the screw bit, carefully unscrew the lower valve. Reverse this procedure to install. That's all there is to it. As mentioned early on, our new Cool Jaws Hotshot Cart Filling Systems deliver the speed, precision, and flexibility you need to achieve optimum profitability from oil product lines. And here's something else to consider. If you're like most current A10 users, you have at least one filling system gathering dust on your shelf because it just flat doesn't get it done. Enough. You've tried the rest, now order the best. The all new Cool Jars A10 Hot Shot Cart Filling Systems available in two models at hotshot.cooljars.com right now.